Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Mystery Case Files, A Crime and Reflection. I'm MCF Papa, and this is part number nine, and we're going on to the bonus game called Bloody Woman. Carol, did this mirror really belong to a killer? What did you say her name was? Mary? Okay, let's call upon her. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Ladies! The mirror must be handled carefully. That's an interesting subversion, you know, because you expect, like, the young women having, like, a sleepover and saying Bloody Mary three times. You expect that to be, like, a modern thing, but in here it's like they're in, like, Victorian era or something <laughs> doing it. If I let go, we'll be locked inside. Can you find me a screwdriver, Carol? Okay, we are apparently Carol. Right. Tonight I was going to spend the evening with my friends while my parents were away. Anna had the idea of holding a seance. Where did that strange wind come from? It scared my friends so much. I need to find out where they ran off to and if they're okay. Looks like the girls broke the door lock that father bought in India. I hope George can fix it. Alright, seven locations for this bonus game. And, yeah, those are... I thought I saw Alistair Dalimar in the cards in that opening cutscene. There's Victor, and there's the Amazing Larry, there's Phineas Crown. Uh, what's that? Emma Ravenhurst? I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh wait, did I get... I need to get the picture fragments. Yeah, I am on track if there's seven locations and two in each. much going on here. I must be missing something. Ah. Okay. Alright. Was there something to do there? No. Oh, he needed it, didn't you? One important part is broken, but I should be able to fix it. Here, take this. Once again, no music for some reason. A pomegranate inlay, is that for this? Okay. Have peacocks ever eaten pomegranate? Is pomegranate something like peacocks love to eat? I don't know.
they did not have paper clips in the Victorian era, did they? When were paper clips invented? I cherish the memory of the day little George came into our house. I was so happy to have a little brother. Sometimes George is so boring, especially when he's drawing something. But I love him anyway. Oh. Clicked off the screen. Oops. Alright. There we go. The solution to that puzzle is just click randomly, you'll get it eventually. <laughs> Your friends are in my room. Hurry, we have to make sure they're okay. Okay. I saw that, Morphin. The hall light went out suddenly. Something strange is going on in the house today. I saw a shadow near the mirror display, or is it just my imagination? The girls are hiding in George's room. Anna lost her shoe. We can't leave without it. Okay. <laughs> you found it! Thank you, Carol. Thanks for the exciting evening, but... We should be going. I'll see your friends out. The wind blew father's documents away. Please gather them. Oh no, not father's documents. Whatever will we do? George asked me to help him stitch the documents while he walked my friends to their home. Our father is a traveler and a collector. He does vast research about every artifact he acquires. Sometimes we help him, but I find it all so boring. The girls were hiding in George's room. I'm glad they're okay, even though they're frightened. George agreed to see them out. My brother is very responsible and kind, although he's often very boring. Actually, that looks really good, like this ominous sort of barely lit up room. Looks really nice. I need to turn on the gas. Need to find the tiger chip. Okay. Well, it must be in here somewhere then. Oh, there's a crystal missing. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. Pretty simple. Peter, I found you. 
What the heck? By the way, why the heck were those tarot cards from earlier having various mystery case files characters on them that wouldn't even exist for several more decades? That's weird. <laughs> the guy collected mirrors. Marianne Cotton, British serial killer. The exact number of her victims remains unknown. She was arrested, tried, and sentenced to death. Children, since you broke one of the antique mirrors, you're no longer allowed to touch the exhibits. I won the most valuable item in the auction. Oops, father banned us from touching the mirrors in this display after George and I broke one of them. He left a note so he wouldn't forget the incident. I need to be careful. Father's very proud of the fact he was able to buy this mirror at auction. He said it to belong to some serial killer. Okay. Well, that's clever, having the numbers hidden in there. Oh wow, yeah, he is an adventurer. Traveling is father's favorite hobby, and he tries to bring back something interesting from each place he visits. He'll have collected enough to open a museum someday. Father travels a lot and tries to bring home pictures. It's amazing how many interesting and strange places there are in the world. When were color pictures first invented? Maybe this isn't like Victorian area, maybe this is supposed to be like 1910s, 1920s ish. I'm not sure. Even though they still have gas instead of electricity. There's just these two. Oh, there it is. Wow, that was, was actually really well hidden. Mary was kept in prison in Durham. During her imprisonment, she never wanted to repent for her sins. It's said that during her imprisonment, Mary was never separated from her mirror. Okay. George to Carol, you're the best sister ever. George painted our joint portrait especially for me. What a beautiful job he did. Man, this Carol is a lot more prone to writing in her journal than the master detective was. This is the portrait of us that George drew. It's so beautiful. My brother loves to draw and spends a lot of time in the studio. That year, father took George with him to India. George was so happy. He has loved Indian tigers very much ever since.
that's a weird skeleton thing. Sheesh. Oh, huh. A bit like the skeleton that originally appeared in Return to Ravenhurst. Really? Well, that was weird. Ooh, what is that? Pearls in a bell jar. Okay. Whatever good that does. Oh. Oh, is it like needing to be near its thing? I guess. After Mary's death, the mirror passed through many hands before it went to auction. It was said that a woman's shadow sometimes appeared in the mirror. How the heck are we gonna stitch? Okay. Did people really do that? To keep their documents secure? I don't know. I guess they did. to George. What was that? I saw that strange shadow again. George is in trouble. I have to save him. You're mine now, huh? We need something to remove the screws, like a screwdriver we just had earlier. Hmm? Nah, that's crazy. Ooh, didn't expect it to be a knife. <laughs> And that's what we use to remove the screws. Okay. Sure. Oh, hey. I think this is the first hidden object scene of this bonus game. We can't collect the more eel until it has a label on the jar that says it's a more eel. Okay.
No! He's mine! Now get out! Do you want to join your brother? You'll see this nightmare forever! Okay, we're in the mirror world now, so, where am I? The woman said that this place was my nightmare, but it's possible to wake up from a nightmare. I've got to wake up. Alright, we will explore this in the next part. And likely finish off the bonus game then too. So like and subscribe if you want. I'll see you then.